Hello, friends, and welcome. Today, we're going to talk about where to ward in 7.29b. I know a lot of you have been asking for it. Sorry it's been delayed, but I've been having trouble with it. And I think a lot of support's been feeling this way, which is why a lot of people have been asking for it. But I needed time to figure out why. So, quick philosophy on how I think warding has changed in this patch versus the last one. And then I'll do the usual, show you all some uh, spots real quick. Although, first thing, guys, I found out if you lock one of them, so they're on separate inventory slots and you have the dash WTF mode on. Now, we don't have to give ourselves like 50 million wards to be able to uh, to test this stuff. So if you want to practice your own warding, there you go. All right, so three changes that change warding. One is map changes that always changes warding, but then there's two others. One, the sentry range decreased from 1,000 to 900, and it's the radius, so it shrunk both sides. So the whole thing is overall smaller. This is gonna tie into point two, cliffs got moved that's actually technically that's part of map changes so point two and three are kind of the same map changes including cliff changes so real quick let me just go ahead and uh, ward all the cliffs while i talk about this cliffs got shift around and because of that i think cliffs are more exaggerated in both what they're good at and what they're bad at so as you can see as i fill these up and you take a look at the mini map we actually see the entire jungle between the cliffs the vision cliffs give now are like, it's pretty crazy like look this whole jungle is pretty much lit up now obviously you can't control every cliff in the game at the same time but the point is is that if you're in any given part of the map and you want vision and you use a cliff you will have fantastic vision in the past this cliff used to be more in this direction and it was good for sieging tier two and kind of good when you were sieging tier three but like because it was closer to the lane, which overlapped with vision that your creeps would give anyways, like it didn't feel as good. Now that it's been moved back, you get way more vision in the jungle, which feels more generally impactful. Um, same with this one. Like it would kind of see this part of the map, but like it overlapped a lot with what creeps gave you. And like this wasn't the most useful part of the map anyways. So as these cliffs have been moved around, I think they're in much better locations than before which means why they're bad because everyone uses them is now more extreme. Like everyone is using these. Part of that is because the map changes are still relatively new. So people are still figuring out better spots, but it's also because I think cliffs are just better in general. So if you are going to play, let's say in their jungle, like let's say you're a dire and you're playing in the radiant jungle. I think it's fine to use maybe one, maybe two cliff spots. Don't put all your wards on cliff stills, but like if you know you're going to be in the area to fight, or run away based on what you see, then I think a cliff ward is fine. Now, because of that, everyone is checking cliffs. Everyone is checking cliffs with sentries either on the cliffs or on the low ground. If you're a hero like Crystal Maiden who can check high ground with a spell like her Crystal Nova, not every support uh, can do this. So if you can't, you probably have to put them on the cliff. If you can, check high ground you probably get to put on the low ground if you're willing to bring your courier over you get to put them on the low ground as well so now that brings us to the point where i just tell you guys that i will show you some spots that i think are pretty good but i think a lot of spots are viable now i think warding is more open than before because look so these are where everyone has to check their sentries which means there's tons of different parts of the map where you could put wards now and it would all like this is all good vision. Okay, hold on. We have to kill existing wards first. Like, the wards that are up, like, outside of these existing cliff sentries, all of these are good, right? You put a ward here, like, this is solid vision. You put a ward here, good vision, good vision, good vision, good vision, good vision, good vision. Like, all of this is good. So, as the warder, this has opened it up. Now, as a D warder, when you come in here and you're like, I think they have a ward here. It's like, I mean... It's a pretty good spot there. So maybe I sentry here. I mean, it's a pretty good spot here too, though. It's a pretty good spot like here and here. And so warding feels really difficult right now. Or like it feels like more of a challenge. It is both easier to ward, which has then made it harder to deward, which has then made it more important to think about where you ward. And the thing is, I'm, I don't think any given spot is better than the other right now. Like some are naturally better than others a little bit based on like where, what you're trying to look at. But like, I think all these spots are viable. And so if you use any of these spots that are outside of the cliff's typical sentry range, I think that's fine. 
I think what's more important now is making sure you aren't spotted, which has always been important. Like, oh, I don't want to like ward in their vision. But even if you weren't spotted in the last patch, it was like, look, I can tell you, the sentry goes right here. This is where it went to cover this cliff and that cliff and the common areas. And then you follow up like a sentry, like in this area to spot this spot. Um, over here, it was like sentry, like right here if you want one thing, like right here if you want another thing. There were very defined spots. Part of that was because that map had existed for a while, so people found all these spots. But the other thing was like the sentries are bigger, and due to the way the cliffs were, there were just less, like it felt like there were less spots. And now there's way more open space, I think. So even if you don't watch the rest of this video and look for spots with me, um, just know that as long as you're outside of these like typical sentries, I think this is very safe. I think this is safe. Just make sure you try to de-ward first. So if, like if you're coming to the dire and you're like, I want to ward somewhere here, just check that they don't have their own cliff vision. Or you know if you're crystal maiden, you do something like, oops, do something like this. Okay, they don't have vision of me. And if you want to put another sentry to like really check they don't have vision, go for it. But once you think, okay, I don't think they see me, it's up to you. Anywhere like back here, I think is fine. Uh, preferably outside of this like cliff um, so like doo -doo -doo -doo, anywhere here I think is a good spot so now now let's start talking about actual actual spots I'll, I'll timestamp this if no one cared about the philosophy first off if you look at the minimap here guys everything within this box this is kind of what got changed um, there are some changes to the lane but pretty much if you want to use any of the old laning wards it's fine so like a ward in the dire side like wards in here all of those are still fine the uh, the cliff wards all of those are good if you want to put a ward in the lane all of that all fine um actually before talking about the jungles let's talk about laning laning i think same deal as before i think a lot of these spots are fine like somewhere over here if you need to spot like a pudge or um some melee heroes that you can't let them get on top of you um you want to spot like spirit breaker deep roams back here against heavy roamers like especially if they roam level one i think cliff spots are now pretty viable for the safe lanes because you still see like decent stuff here but more importantly you see them leaving to go roam in the mid lane and these are the most common paths for them to go um but your actual vision of the lane so like let me move out of here like this is not the greatest but if you're against someone who's going to heavily roam like marana pudge earth spirit those kind of heroes then i think the cliff spots are pretty good um, but otherwise anything like usual like back here back here 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 i think all those wards are still like relatively fine um, i'm not i don't know i'm not too worried about laning wards for you guys if you're the position four same deal um i think like just like all the same usual wards do i want to see them like do i still want to see couriers in the small camp maybe back here do i want to like be careful of pudge hooking me maybe my own ward back here or here um do i want to like spot what they're doing in the lane because we got to dodge everything like maybe over here just spot pulls over here things like that um, I think a lot of the lane wards are still relatively the same concept. Now let's talk about the so warding spots here. So I've got the sentries all placed. I think people are still used to sentrying this area because this is where a cliff used to be. And this feels like good vision would be here. And there is, you know, uh, a ward here is really good. And a ward along this ledge is really good. So a sentry here is still like in this area is pretty common. And you'll notice that leaves this little strip right here between this cliff sentry and this like sentry over here so anything along this ledge right here i think is really good uh the vision is about the same no matter where you place it so if you think they're more likely to put like a low ground uh sentry over here because they can check high ground then i would put it more towards this tree over here um and if for whatever reason you suspect they have a sentry over there then i'd put it more to like this side a bit um but like i think any ward over here is pretty good I think, you know, all the cliff wards, like I said, are all really good. If you're not going to use a cliff ward, then like anything outside the typical sentries is along the edge. They have always been good. A sneaky spot you guys can consider is back here. Useful for whether you're the Radiant or Dire. So let me actually kill this ward so we can see what it does. So whether you're Radiant or Dire, I think this spot is pretty sneaky. Pretty hard to see this one. Um, you have to have like daytime vision over here or your own ward over here. And then you have to have a sentry spawning this. But if you think about where people are placing sentries right now, it's on this cliff. It's like a little on the low ground here. Maybe they put one over here, which would then get it. But you have to have a sentry here. 
and then you either have to have some kind of high ground vision checking spell to check over here or you have to like make your way over here and notice on the minimap because if you're coming up these stairs i don't know why you'd be looking over here right you're probably your camera's like up here so there's a lot of reasons why this is just kind of hard to check and there's no way to physically walk over there without being able to cut trees so i think that's a pretty good spot if this gets patched out with a tree, then I think putting one on the low ground like this could be pretty sneaky because there's actually also no way to get over here unless you like walk in here. And if you walk here, you can then see a ward placed like here. But if you're just like standing here and walking down, you don't see that. The tree blocks it. The vision is not nearly as good as this one though. So it's like, yeah, I just use that, you know? Um, over here is all still pretty solid. But the mid lane, like all these wards are still really good. They've always been good. They'll continue to be good. Same with like back behind these trees. All these places, all still good behind the tower. Still fine. Um, anything else here? Over here, this corner. As you can see, the sentry blocks like over here. I think this is nice. Ooh, another thing. If you think they're likely to use... So, before, the all the cliffs were usually tucked near the edge of something. And so there was no point in putting anything... Like, if you're going to use an area near the cliff, you might as well use the cliff. But now, let's say you put the sentry here. And you, boop, you do that, and then you leave. But you'll actually notice this sentry does not check back here. And so now you could put a ward, like, over here. And this would have, like, decent vision, which I think is kind of cool um, to spot, like, this area. But, of course, if anyone puts a sentry here, it's like, lol, why are they putting a ward here? Um, but I think it's a cool option now because high-level games, people will try to optimize. And they will put sentries here. And now you could, like, sneak award over here again not the greatest vision but it will exist for a long time um, so that's a potential mind game for you if you feel like most of your games people just put them on the cliffs though then it's like it's not going to be it's not going to be worth it all right let's move over here let's put our usual sentries so this is a big change right before you used to just put your sentry like right here but now due to this spawn box and this cliff being here this sentry does not reach that which means you then have to put your sentry over here a bit which means you're then going to miss this side. So, this is where, like, people just take bets, right? Uh, do I want to have to use a sentry there and then another one here? Like, look how much my sentries are overlapping now, right? It doesn't feel good. And that's what I mean by, like, a lot of people are either just checking cliffs. They're trying to optimize and, like, okay, I'll check the cliff and the low ground. But then, like, by doing so, I always miss some other spot. And, like... Which spot it's going to be, I don't know. Well, in this case, I know it's going to be this side. So I would put my wards here. But like, let's say uh, this cliff, you know, I want to maximize. I don't want to just put it on the cliff. I want to put it on the low ground. Well, should I check top wards? Should I check wards on the right? Should I check wards down here? Should I check wards over here? Right? All of those would be viable. They're all equally viable, which means if you have no information to suggest which side they have chosen, then you're just taking a guess or dumping a bunch of sentries. And that's why warding, I think, feels really awkward right now for you guys. But I think you should just take your best guess and try to place them while being sneaky. And try to stick to the edges of stuff like usual. And I personally prefer this edge. Even though I think this is common to check. Um, like with this kind of sentry. But I think I've been seeing a lot of people put sentries there. Which frees up this corner. But for people who put this one here. And you still want vision of the area. Like say a Roche fight. I think this is kind of cool. Its vision is not the greatest. But you see the rune. You see multiple entrances, and you see the small camp for people farming. And it's very uncommon to put a sentry back here, I think. Because usually, if you are checking for wards, you're checking around, uh, around these edges. And so the sentry goes, like, here. Um, which is not going to get back here. Over here, wards, again, along this ledge. I mean, yeah, they might put the sentry on the low ground, but it's always been, like, you know, a bet. Are they going to do it or not? I think this spot is kind of sneaky. So you'll notice even if you put the sentry like as low as possible here on the cliff, then it won't catch this ward. And this ward spots that entrance, spots this general area, spots like out here. Um, kind of sneaky, not the greatest vision in the world, but unlikely to get dewarded unless they use a low ground sentry, then, you know, what can you do? But I think it's more likely, like, I think it's always been more common to put sentries on this side uh, because this vision is a little more useful than this vision. Having said that, wards now here also tend to survive um and then same deal if you're trying to next level them and they're like putting sentries on the ground and stuff then you may get away with a ward in this area and the wards here are like okay but 
I don't know. I don't really use these wards that much. That's a little too mind gamey thinking they're like oh they'll put all their sentries like over here and then they'll miss this area i don't know um because i think they'll just put one on the cliff and then they'll get it so i haven't been using that one um that's about it for this side i think uh you could do this again uh kind of sneaky but i don't know i think you would just use the cliff um this is again another like maybe they're trying to like super next level it put their sentry like over here and in which case um, or like over here, in which case you don't see this spot, but I don't know. I'll point it out, but it's up to you guys. I think over here is good. Um, without the cliff being here anymore, I don't think people are putting sentries here as often. And this vision is actually pretty solid, right? It's outside the cliff sentry, but you see the secret shop. You see multiple entrances. Uh, it's pretty open. I like this one. Up here, laning wards are kind of all the same as usual. Uh, the cliff spot, pretty good. Let's put our sentries down, actually, first. So this dire jungle especially feels hard to uh, predict where they're warding. Um, because, I mean, look, this is good. Everywhere here is good. Here is good. Uh, people like to not put sentries near the outpost because it overlaps a lot. But, like, everything around the sentry or around the outpost is, like, really good vision. Up here is good vision. Up here, like, this is decent vision. Um, here's decent vision. All around this ledge is decent vision. So, yeah, just take your best bet. Any any spot along the ledges, I think, are pretty good. Um, somewhere like here can be pretty sneaky. Uh, they, you know, they might, uh, might not see this. If they're going to put a low ground sentry, I mean, they'll get that. But if they're just doing um, this sentry and, like, if they put it on the far right to the cliff, then they can get wards over here, unless you put it like way in the corner, uh, kind of like where it is now. But then if you put it too far in the corner, you don't see up here like this, kind of like that. So if you're like worried about that, and plus most of this vision is like in the river anyways, but if you'd rather see like this part of the map, then like in here is kind of sneaky. And people are, you know, trying to avoid putting sentries in their own camp. So I think it's more likely to put a sentry down here to get this uh, cliff or maybe over here. The thing is, if they put a sentry on the low ground like this, then they are more likely to put a sentry like over here, which would get this ward, but would not get, you see, the one on the other half. Um, especially if you're trying to make sure you get this bottom corner, you kind of like put your ward here. Then like you might miss a ward like over here. So this is what I mean. Like you then put like a sentry in the middle of the cliff instead of way at the edge. And then you end up missing this like sneaky spot right here. This sentry range, like, was a killer. It seems like a, a little amount, like 100 off a sentry, whatever. But the thing was, you always warded at the edges of the sentries anyways. So now when you shrink that, you have more areas um, that, like, just make it out of sentry range. All these edges, I think, are always good. And I think over here is also really good because uh, something like this is kind of common. Um, well, not that common, actually, to be honest, but it checks up here. And because the outpost is here and because this sentry is here, then I find this area tends to be uh, not warded so heavily or not sentried so heavily. So, like, anything here is, like, pretty solid vision. And if you want, you can, like, sneak it back into the trees a little bit, but then your vision, like, gets away cut off, I think. It's, like, not nearly as good. Uh, but, like, anywhere here I think is fine. Anything along these ledges is fine. Back here, always been in a nice spot, but, I mean, that didn't really change anything from the, uh, the patch last area let's head over here so this used to be a really good spot but not so good anymore because the sentry just kind of covers it uh, then the other sentry like right here so where do you put your other sentry i don't know like here check the majority of areas right and that kind of leaves this whole back area pretty open and i like this i've been putting a lot of wards like in this area and they usually do pretty well for themselves maybe like over here you get to see a little further out um if they're if they're using low ground sentries, they're kind of like putting them here, and then you know again it doesn't it doesn't feel great to have to put another sentry here, but you kind of have to, and so like sometimes you just like drop it here, but then you'll notice there's actually like, whoop, technically if you want to be like very sneaky, you could do something like this, and again this is like pretty solid vision. You could also do somewhere like over here a bit, um, just not in the camp, but like if they move to the either side a little bit, then of course they'll get it. But that's, I mean, that's warding. 
this ledge over here a lot of people who just use the cliff spot just drop it in the middle they're gonna miss this little corner right here so if you're centering you probably want to put like a bit so you see that green circle it does cover that corner now if you put it if you put it at the uh, top right of this cliff but a lot of people just drop it in the middle and so if you want this ward not bad you can see people moving up and down this entrance yeah it's not like the greatest in the world but i think it's like also decent to spot this area um probably a, a late game kind of ward when you're like trying to spot them leaving their base and stuff i haven't really been using this spot as much um because i think this century and this century are very common and there used to be a little ledge where i said this but repeating it there used to be a little ledge where you could ward i i haven't been using that as much i've been using like back here and um back here a bit more oh and also over here stuff still is that all of them this is the uh, mirrored equivalent so i said like oh a ward here is like kind of good i don't think a ward here is nearly as good because of all these trees that grow right here and so like no matter where you place it okay you could place it here and then this is like kind of okay um but i don't know it doesn't feel to me it doesn't feel as good because I, I liked over here to spot like the lane and the entrance but these trees kind of prevent that. So putting it over here kind of only spots the entrances and not the lane. Whereas this like really kind of did both. And that's why it felt better. Uh, anytime you see like multiple entrances is usually uh, pretty good. Some of you can consider, but I think is a little too, I don't know. Again, a very niche thing. So you can see this ward or you can't see this ward. So if you just like walk like through here, you actually don't see this. Uh, the tree blocks it. You have to, like, physically walk back here. So if you think they're just checking the cliff with a sentry or they're using low ground sentries like this, you could put a ward here to then see the rune, see multiple entrances in the river. Like, this is okay. But you're going to feel pretty dumb if they just, I don't know, they put a sentry here, they put their ward here, and then they're like, lol, what is this? Then you'll probably feel like, well, I might as well just put it on the cliff. So, again, kind of a... I think this is like too high level for its own good. It doesn't feel like worth the uh, the risk. Uh, wards back here, I think, are still fine. Uh, they kind of existed in the last patch, anyways. Okay, guys, I think that's most of the ward spots. Oh, you can still like put one uh, in here. I think this is fine. Uh, the little <laughs> little ledge here got removed, so nothing there. Um, yeah, you could probably cut some trees to like open up some new warding spots, but a lot of times people are not starting with quelling blades, anyways. Um, Hmm. thought this might be a spot because it's not um yeah i think that's it guys i think that's it for the wards 22 minutes oops a little longer than i meant it to be um i don't know it's hard to cover all the warding spots quickly okay that's it we'll end there hope you guys found this helpful slightly less editing than the last one sorry guys but that's pretty much it that's me running through all the different ward spots and i'm sure there will be more discovered as the patch goes on but for right now i really do emphasize trying to D ward first before you place your own wards. If you're going to play in an area, it's fine to use the cliffs. And in fact, I encourage it because they're these the, the, the cliffs are in amazing spots right now. But if you want a ward to survive, then just take your best guess. Like put it any any edge will be kind of well, maybe not this one because it's like right next to the cliff. But like over here, you know, like all the edges, it's the, the mentality, the philosophy is just like away from the common sentry spots and just hope that when they guess, they're like, I know there's a ward here. But I only have two sentries, so I'm going to guess here and here, or like here and like here. The thing is, because they only have limited sentries, they have to check the cliffs. I hate it. Um, feels kind of awkward right now. You have to check these cliffs. Last time, you could kind of like ignore that cliff there, ignore this cliff here. Like they weren't as good. This cliff back here, kind of, yeah, that, actually that one was okay. But like a couple of the cliffs were like not as common to ward, and so you could kind of ignore them. Um or use a low ground sentry and check them with a high ground spell or a courier and it felt okay now it's like now it feels like you have to check everyone which means all these other spots are kind of getting away a bit more okay that's it thank you for watching goodbye